Sure, I'm Kyle Ringrose. I'm Head of Investment Operations at QSuper. QSuper is one of the two largest pension funds in Australia. I'm talking about uh, post-tax performance measurement. There was a study done in Sydney a couple of years back uh, which showed there seems to be a very large disconnect between investment management and tax management. The point is, of course, people accumulate their wealth on their post-tax returns and not pre-tax. So we are seeing for pension funds in particular, the regulators are paying a lot of attention to uh, ensuring trustees do focus on their post-tax returns. I recently chaired a two-day conference in Sydney focused exclusively on post-tax performance measurement and there were a number of different strategies came forward there and some fairly robust discussion around the validity of those strategies. Um, we also discussed how to set uh, post-tax benchmarks. Now it became apparent throughout that conference that perhaps some of the biggest opportunities for managing post-tax returns simply weren't getting enough attention. There seemed to be an awful lot of focus on a lot of detail and perhaps missing the big picture. Okay. So what I want to present to you is an outline of some of the key strategies we discussed and to challenge some of the controversial issues around those uh, strategies. Uh, while some of what we're going to be looking at is unique to the Australian uh, tax and investment environment, it does give a very valuable insight into the challenges facing managers globally in managing Australian investments. Also, I'm sure that some of the points that come out will be equally relevant to uh, people managing assets in the UK and other parts of the world. I think TSAM provides an opportunity for, for many people to get a global perspective on things rather than just a rather parochial view. So from my perspective, I'm very happy to share what is really a hot topic in the Australian environment right now, which should certainly be of interest to most people going to TSAM. And of course, what I'm looking forward to achieving is reciprocally finding out what's happening in other parts of the world. So there's some things I can take back to Australia with me. I'm really interested in uh, hearing what's going on in the OTC derivatives clearing area. A lot of the major banks are pushing their products and services in this particular arena and I'd like to learn a lot more about what's going on. <laughs>